there's growing interests uh, from growers about how herbicide residues in soil might be affecting uh, soil uh, biological processes and soil health uh, and, and also how the residues might be impacting on, on crop growth as well. So for the last five years we've been looking at that issue uh, and trying to better define uh, and benchmark uh, what the level of residues is in soil at the, at the start of the growing season, so it's sowing, um, and what, what is the meaning or what's the relevance of those um, herbicide residues in soil. And generally what we've found is that soil biological process, processes are quite resilient to um, herbicide uh, inputs and also herbicide residues uh, if label rates are followed and if um, the residues are given sufficient time to degrade or dissipate. If you're getting herbicide accumulation in your soil uh, then there can be some issues um, and I guess the higher risk herbicides there are the group B and the group I herbicides. We conducted a couple of soil surveys over two years and looked at um, over 80 paddocks and we found that the residues in those soils, probably less than 10% of the paddocks had residues that, that might impact on the crops. And generally in, that, in the 10% the where those residues could impact crops, uh, most of the issues were avoided by the growers and agronomists selecting cultivars or, or crops that were tolerant to those herbicide residues. Recommendations we can give at this time is to, is to stick by the label recommendations. Um, and really understand that moisture is a key driving factor for herbicide degradation. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.